What? What are you saying? Father! Your friends. Keep friends. Those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father! No! Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you need to work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, 
I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fuxan? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits. Catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryosan, why? What you gonna do? Ryosan, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki Sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Hmm. 
Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. Excuse me? Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm. Maybe Sakuragaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. 
Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you're okay. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you happen to see a black car? No, I didn't see one. It probably went racing through Sakuragaoka at high speed. Ah, uh, if that was the case, then perhaps it was... What? Well, there was this really loud noise. A high-pitched screeching sound. I suppose it was brakes. Yes, I'd think. Excuse me. What is it, baby boy do? Did you see a black car the day of that incident? I didn't see anything. Because with all the snow, my shop was packed with children. I see. Did anything unusual happen that day? You again. With me, every day it's the same old routine. I see. Use your head, baby boy, do. Yes.
It's closed. Kasakasan. Hi, Leo. That day, did you see a black car? A black car? I hear it came from Sakuragaoka and drove through Dobuita at full speed. Hmm. I had no idea. I see. Leo, why don't you try asking people on the shopping street? Maybe someone saw it down there. Yeah. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you, Annie? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. about those men in the black car what Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car no no I don't remember they might have been the ones who murdered my father your father please try to think all right man I'll try those guys in the black car what were they like I saw a guy wearing this weird coat what kind of coat it was a deep green Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much.
Tao san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Manpukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um, yes, Itoi-san, 
Do you know about the three blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao Sun. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu Sun. Liu Sun? That's right. Over at the barbers. I see. But Itoi Sun, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. Excuse me. Hello, Ryo. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? Which way is Dew Barber and Hair Salon? It's down the way, past the hamburger place. Down past Funny Bear Burgers, right? I see. Thank you. One hundred yen each. Maybe just one. Hmm, I know this. I should try again. Hey. I should try again. I'll pass. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki, son. Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So Tao Sun referred you to us. 
Well, I'm a second-generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father's eighty years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. You look sleepy. Da, I'm studying for exams. Oh right. Go and cheer up Nozomi. Why don't you or Noriko go and see her? Come on, Dio. You really have no clue about women, do you? Hey. Don't talk to me. I have nothing to say to a guy who is so completely insensitive. Okay. I'm sorry, Eddie. See you later then.
Um, are you Dio, son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards? protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors. About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Akemi-san. Hi, Ryo. Akemi-san. Um... You're still a minor. Ine-san's worried, you know. All right.
Um, yeah? What? Are those people sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Got a minute? Hey! The kid's saying something! Are you guys sailors? Hmm, could be. Hey, kid! How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon. Okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Unbelievable, man! The deal was, I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah. We're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar. Hey, let's bet again. Come on! Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! for a schoolboy, I'd say. <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? <laughs> you stupid! Ah. <laughs> That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out.
One game, 100 yen. Come on, fighter! Guess I'll try it. One game, 100 yen. Don't think I should. Ah, oh, look at the time. Yuo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand.
I haven't got time for that now.